Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys when you're attempting to connect to the internet using the built-in Windows utility. It says Windows did not detect any networking hardware. This should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'm going to recommend doing is opening up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. In this elevated command line window, type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen here. Hit enter. Should come back when successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And hopefully that was able to resolve the problem for you. If you're still having an issue, you can open up the search menu and type in troubleshoot. Best match, or come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath options, you want to select other troubleshooters. And then underneath the other section, scroll down. And then underneath most frequent, you want to select the network and internet troubleshooter and the run button. So I'd recommend following along with any prompts it suggests on the screen here to try and get you back connected online. So again, that's another thing to take a look into here. If you have any System Restore points saved on your computer, so if you open up System Restore just by typing in Restore, best metric of back or create a Restore point, go ahead and open that up. And if the protection is turned on, you can go ahead and select the System Restore button up here and then roll your computer back to a recently created restore point. So that's something else you can take a look into as well. A final step we can try would be to reset our network settings back to default. So if you're using a Wi-Fi based connection, make sure you have your passcode nearby because once we're done with our next step, you will need that to get back connected onto the internet. So just take note of your Wi-Fi password and then proceed to open up the search menu and type in settings. Best results should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, select network and internet. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down and select advanced network settings. Underneath more settings, you want to select network reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. This will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the reset now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. Save and close out of any open programs and applications and proceed to restart your computer at this time. So at this point, hopefully your issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.